Welcome back uh, to the lecture series on metrology. Now we will start uh, module 11, lecture number 2. In this lecture, we will be covering the following uh, topics. Practical tests on uh, lathe. In the previous lecture number 1, we discussed about uh, various uh, alignment uh, tests, static uh, tests. In this uh, lecture, we will be covering some uh, aspects of uh, practical tests conducted on engine lead and then we will move on to uh, tests on uh, pillar type uh, drilling machine. Under this we will be covering the alignment tests and then the practical uh, tests and then we will cover general inspection of machine tools. Now we will uh, discuss about uh, the practical tests conducted on uh, engine uh, lead. So, in which uh, a workpiece is mounted in uh, the check or uh, face plate mounted on uh, the nose of uh, the lathe spindle and machining operations such as uh, turning and uh, facing and threading are performed and uh, the uh, machining accuracy is uh, tested. In this diagram, you can see a workpiece of length uh, 300 millimeter is mounted in uh, the uh, three jaw check or face plate. The diameter of the workpiece is uh, uh, one fourth to one sixth of uh, swing uh, bobber bed. If uh, swing bobber bed is 100 millimeter, then we can take a workpiece of diameter uh, of uh, 25 millimeter and we can uh, fix it to the work holding device and we can turn it. So, length of uh, turning is uh, 300 uh, millimeter. As we can see here, the two diameters are uh, machined uh, with uh, width uh, maximum uh, 30 millimeter. The workpiece material is, uh, it can be free cutting steel or uh, cast iron and uh, two diameters are uh, turned using uh, a single point uh, cutting tool. After that, the circularity error is measured using the roundness tester on both the diameters and the circularity error should not exceed 0.03 millimeter. And then the consistency of machined diameter variation is also checked. Uh, what is the diameter in the first uh, 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 diameter and what is the diameter at the second place and, and then what is the variation that is uh, uh, measured. Uh, the error, the diameter variation uh, should be less than uh, 0 0.05 millimeter per uh, 300 millimeter length. Now, uh, in the second uh, test, uh, facing operation is uh, performed. You can see here the workpiece is mounted in the check or face plate. The diameter of uh, the workpiece is uh, it should be greater than uh, half of uh, swing bower bed. If uh, swing bower bed is 100 millimeter, then the, the diameter of the workpiece should be greater than uh, 50 millimeter. And uh, D max should be 1000 millimeter if a swing over bed is more than uh, this particular size. And then the material, workpiece material can be free cutting steel or uh, cast iron. A facing operation is uh, performed using a single point uh, cutting tool. The tool uh, moves perpendicular to the spindle axis and uh, the facing is uh, performed as shown here. And then surface flatness is uh, measured using the straight edge and uh, slip edges. The deviation in flatness uh, should be less than 0 0.03 millimeter for a diameter of uh, 300 millimeter and deviation is allowed only in uh, concave uh, direction. Another important test uh, that is uh, practical test that is conducted is uh, threading operation on a cylindrical uh, workpiece. 
uh, workpiece uh, of sufficient length uh, is placed between uh, the centers and uh, a screw thread is cut over a length of uh, 300 millimeter. The diameter and pitch of the that is cut should be close to the lead screw. And again, uh, the material, workpiece material, can be free cutting steel or cast iron. And after cutting the thread, it is checked for cumulative uh, error over uh, 300 millimeter uh, thread that is cut. Uh, using uh, cumulative error is uh, checked uh, using screw thread uh, measurement uh, techniques. Error, cumulative error, uh, should not exceed uh, 0 0.06 millimeter over uh, 300 millimeter or 0 0.02 millimeter over 50 millimeter length. The screw thread that is cut should be clean without uh, flats or uh, baby nails. Now let us start uh, the discussion on uh, various stress conducted on builder type uh, multiple drilling machine. In this photograph we can see the appearance of uh, pillar type vertical drilling machine. So this is the pillar around uh, column which uh, supports uh, the various parts of uh, drilling machine and this is the base on which uh, the vertical pillar is uh, mounted. Now this is uh, the machined uh, base uh, surface. You can also see the T-slots for mounting uh, the work pieces and then we have uh, the machined uh, table uh, surface and then uh, the knee which supports the table and there is a clamp for clamping the table. By loosening this clamp we can rotate uh, the table and we can move uh, this up and down uh, to accommodate work pieces of uh, different uh, sizes and for moving uh, the knee up and down we have uh, the rack and there is a lever to move uh, uh, the knee up and down and this is uh, the drill head and this drill head can be moved uh, up and down over uh, the vertical uh, pillar and this uh, drill head uh, houses the spindle, the electric motor which is used to rotate uh, the spindle and uh, the cone pulleys or gearbox are housed uh, in this uh, drill head. To accommodate uh, the work pieces of different height either we can move uh, this knee and table uh, up and down or we can also move up and down uh, this uh, drill head. If the if we have very larger uh, work pieces uh, we can uh, uh, rotate this table and knee to the other side and then uh, we can directly mount uh, the uh, work pieces on uh, the machined uh, base uh, surface and we can perform the drilling uh, operation. Now various uh, tests are conducted uh, to check uh, whether alignment is proper or not. Some tests are uh, the whether the machined base surface is flat or not and the machine table surface is flat or not or if there is any error whether it is concave or convex, whether the movement of the spindle is perpendicular to the uh, table surface or base surface whether the running of the spindle is true or not, whether the movement of the uh, drill head is uh, parallel to the spindle axis. So such things are uh, tested in uh, alignment test conducted on uh, uh, drilling uh, machine. Now uh, we will discuss about uh, leveling of uh, the drilling machine. Before conducting uh, any alignment test, it is uh, very essential to check whether the machine is properly leveled or uh, not. For uh, uh, leveling, for to check the level, uh, spirit level and uh, straight edges are uh, used. Table and knee are locked in uh, mid position and then uh, the straight edge is placed on the table surface over which a spirit level is placed and then uh, the reading is uh, taken. Similar procedure is uh, repeated on uh, the base uh, machined uh, surface and measurement is taken in uh, a plane of symmetry of the machine as shown here and uh, then in a plane perpendicular to the plane of symmetry 
and passing through the spindle axis as shown in figure B. In both the planes, the error should not exceed 0.03 per 300 mm. Now, uh, if the error exceeds this uh, value, we can uh, always insert uh, shim plates below the uh, base plate and we can uh, adjust the level. If machine is not leveled uh, properly, what happens is uh, the pillar uh, will deflect and undesirable uh, stresses are in introduced uh, in the pillar which is not uh, uh, desirable. Now, uh, how to conduct uh, the flatness of uh, the table surface, also the flatness of uh, the base plate of the machine, base plate of uh, the machine, this is the machined uh, surface, you can also see the T-slots and this is the pillar. Now we have to check whether this base, machine base is flat or not. For uh, measuring the flatness, we can uh, use uh, precision level uh, which is shown here or we can use uh, straight edge and uh, gauge blocks along with uh, filler gauges. Uh, these uh, instruments can be used to, to check the flatness. The test is uh, performed by placing uh, the precision level at different uh, positions along the x direction as also y direction and we can uh, note down the reading which will indicate uh, whether uh, the base plate is flat or not. We can also use uh, uh, straight edge and uh, gauge, the gauge blocks. Uh, gauge blocks uh, can be placed on uh, the machined uh, surface like this over which uh, we can uh, place the straight edge And then these uh, gaps can be filled by inserting uh, the filler gauges uh, which will uh, give uh, the flatness of the base surface. Uh, the similar uh, procedure is uh, repeated on uh, the table uh, surface uh, also. Now the error, flatness error uh, should not exceed 0 0.03 millimeter for any measuring length of uh, 300 millimeter and uh, the surface uh, should be flat or if there is any deviation the surface uh, should be concave uh, only the surface uh, should be like this if the surface is convex then uh, when we place uh, the workpiece on uh, the convex machine table or base plate and uh, when we clamp it uh, due to the clamping uh, force uh, the uh, workpiece will uh, tilt, it may tilt like this or it may bend uh, like this. To avoid this, the error should be concave uh, only. If there is a convex uh, shape, then again the remachining is uh, done uh, so that uh, the table surface or uh, base surface becomes uh, flat. Now, other important uh, test uh, that is conducted is uh, a true running of uh, spindle internal uh, taper. You can see here we have the uh, spindle of uh, the drilling machine. This is the spindle and inside uh, there will be tapered uh, bore. This is uh, the axis of spindle. Now, the spindle internal uh, bore or internal taper uh, uh, should run uh, through this. We insert the uh, drill bit in the taper. So, if this uh, internal taper is uh, not true, then uh, the uh, drill tool uh, will uh, wobble. It will wobble and uh, we don't get uh, the proper uh, drill hole. There may be uh, nevenness in the hole that is drilled or the hole size uh, increases because of the wobbling of uh, drill tool. So, the true running of uh, internal uh, taper of uh, uh, spindle is very very essential. To test the true running, uh, we have to use uh, a mandrel, test mandrel of uh, maybe 200 millimeter or 300 millimeter uh, length. We have to insert uh, the test mandrel 
uh, into the taper uh, bore and then the dial indicator plunger should touch the uh, the mandrel and uh, the magnetic stand of uh, the test uh, dial test indicator should be placed on uh, the table the uh, spindle is uh, rotated uh, slowly and uh, dial gauge readings are uh, noted down at uh, two places one uh, near uh, the spindle and uh, then uh, away from uh, the spindle at a distance of uh, L. Now the error, true running error uh, should not exceed 0 0.02 millimeter uh, near uh, the spindle uh, nose for uh, and 0 0.035 millimeter at a distance of uh, 200 millimeter. If we use a 300 millimeter mandrel, then uh, near the spindle nose, uh, the error should not exceed 0 0.025 millimeter, and at a distance of uh, 300 millimeter, error should not exceed 0 0.05 millimeter. Now we will uh, discuss uh, about uh, parallelism of spindle axis with its. Uh, vertical uh, movement spindle uh, we move up and down for uh, feeding uh, the drill tool into the workpiece the movement vertical movement of uh, the spindle should be parallel to its uh, axis if uh, the axis this is the spindle axis and uh, the uh, spindle movement is at uh, some inclination then what happens is uh, when we feed the tool, uh, we get uh, a hole at some uh, inclination uh, alpha. We don't get uh, the drill hole perpendicular to the surface of the workpiece. We get it will the hole will be drilled at some angle. So in order to avoid this, the spindle axis, the movement of uh, the spindle should be parallel to its. Uh, axis that uh, we can check uh, using the test mandrel and uh, dial uh, indicator uh, test mandrel is fixed into the tapered uh, hole of the spindle the dial gauge is fixed on the table as shown here and the plunger of the dial indicator should touch the mandrel as shown here spindle is adjusted in the middle position of its uh, travel and then uh, Dial uh, readings are noted when the spindle is moved in upper and uh, lower directions from the middle position. So when the spindle is moved up, what is the reading? And when the spindle is uh, moved down from the middle position, what is the reading? That we have to note down. And this experiment should be uh, repeated in both the directions. Uh, in plane A, in uh, planes of symmetry of the machine and in plane B, uh, in the plane perpendicular to the plane of uh, symmetry. In both the planes, uh, error should not exceed uh, 0.1 per 300 millimeter moment of uh, the spindle. Now you can see the operator is uh, checking whether the movement of uh, spindle is parallel to its axis or not. The plunger, dial indicator plunger is in contact with uh, the spindle and uh, dial indicator is mounted on the machine table. Now the operator is slowly uh, retracting the spindle and is noting down uh, the readings from the dial gauge. Now uh, we will uh, discuss about uh, another uh, test that is normally conducted. Straightness of the pillar and squareness of the spindle axis to the table surface and base plate uh, surface. The pillar uh, should be straight. Otherwise, uh, when we move the spindle uh, or knee, knee or uh, spindle head to accommodate uh, work pieces of different height, then uh, the uh, if the pillar is uh, like this, then because of this uh, error in uh, straightness, uh, when we move the spindle head, it uh, moves like this and then the, the axis, spindle axis will not be perpendicular uh, to the table surface. Because of uh, this, 
we get uh, holes at some angle instead of getting holes uh, perpendicular to the surface of the board pieces. So before uh, using or accepting uh, any uh, machine tool that is uh, drilling machine, we should check for straightness of uh, uh, pillar. Also the squareness of the spindle axis uh, to the table, whether uh, the spindle axis is uh, perpendicular to the table surface or base surface, that also we should uh, check. If it is not perpendicular, again we get holes uh, inclined to the top uh, surface, we do not get uh, 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 holes perpendicular to the surface. Now let us see how uh, we can check the straightness uh, and uh, squareness of the uh, spindle axis. The dial gauge and uh, straight edges are used uh, for uh, conducting uh, this uh, test. Uh, straightness uh, checking uh, shall be carried out at uh, a number of uh, positions equally spaced between uh, the extreme uh, positions of the table. I can see here uh, uh, the table and knee can be moved to different uh, uh, positions to accommodate work pieces of different uh, sizes. So it is necessary that uh, we should conduct this uh, experiment at uh, different uh, positions of knee and uh, table. Uh, while taking the readings, it is essential that uh, a table and uh, knee should be locked uh, and then uh, we should move the table and uh, knee to a particular position, say one. Uh, the dial indicator stand is mounted on uh, the spindle and uh, we should uh, see that the plunger of uh, the dial is uh, touching uh, the straight edge surface uh, kept on uh, the table surface or uh, the base uh, surface and then slowly we have to uh, rotate the spindle to 180 degree and again we should uh, take the reading. So this uh, proceeds the difference, difference in reading from uh, reading uh, at place 1 and reading at place 2. This difference gives uh, uh, the squareness of the spindle uh, axis to the table surface as well as uh, to the base um, uh, surface. Checking this uh, squareness, we have to uh, move the spindle head to the middle position and then it should be lock and then the squareness test can be conducted. So this is possible if uh, the machine is having uh, elevating uh, spindle head facility and measurement should be taken in two planes, in a plane of symmetry of the machine and in the plane perpendicular to the plane of uh, symmetry and uh, error should not exceed 0 0.06 uh, millimeter per 300 uh, millimeter. So this uh, 300 millimeter is the distance between uh, two points uh, touched. That is, distance between this point and uh, this point is uh, 300 millimeter. And uh, uh, in the case of uh, plane of symmetry of the machine, that is in this uh, position, the angle, the angle between the table surface or the straighted surface and the uh, spindle axis should be less than. 90 degree or equal to 90 degree. The reason is, uh, if it is, uh, if alpha is equal to 90 degree, then uh, we get holes perpendicular to the surface of uh, the workpiece like this. We get perpendicular holes. Now, if the angle is, uh, if there is any error, If there, if there is any error in the squareness, the angle should be less than uh, 90 degree. That means the front edge of uh, the table should be upwards like this. So this is uh, the table uh, surface or the base surface. The front edge should be upwards. The reason is when uh, during uh, the drilling process uh, because of the forces the front edge it tilts like this and uh, error uh, is uh, minimized. Also another reason is uh, when uh, due to the cutting forces, drilling forces, this uh, uh, spindle head tends to bend upwards, tends to bend 
upwards like this and then it tends to nullify or reduce the uh, squareness uh, error because of that uh, the alpha should be uh, less than 90 degree or equal to 90 degree. Now another uh, test is uh, squareness of the table surface to the vertical movement of uh, the spindle. Now again the uh, dial gauge, straight edge and uh, squares are uh, used uh, to conduct uh, this uh, uh, squareness uh, test. Now this is uh, the uh, spindle axis and uh, the spindle will be moving uh, vertically up and uh, down. Now this movement, vertical movement of the spindle should be uh, perpendicular to the table surface. If there is any error again uh, uh, we do not get uh, holes perpendicular uh, to the, uh, the surface of the workpiece. Now uh, while conducting this experiment uh, table and uh, knee are locked in uh, mid position. The table and knee should be moved to the middle position of the pillar and uh, they should be locked. Also spindle head should be locked in uh, mid position uh, for machines having an elevating uh, spindle uh, head. The spindle head also should be moved nearer to the mid position and then it should be locked. The straight edge is placed on uh, the table machine uh, table over which a square is uh, placed and uh, the magnetic stand of uh, the spindle is placed on the spindle and uh, the dial indicator plunger should touch the vertical surface of the square. Uh, initially uh, a reading is taken in this position number uh, 1 and slowly the spindle is uh, moved up and then at a, a distance of uh, 300 millimeter uh, again the second uh, reading uh, is uh, taken. The difference gives the squareness uh, error. Uh, the measurement is uh, taken in two planes, in a plane of symmetry of the machine in this uh, position and uh, in a plane perpendicular to the plane of uh, symmetry and passing through the spindle uh, axis. Now error should not exceed 0.1 millimeter per 300 millimeter in both the planes and again uh, the alpha this angle alpha should be less than uh, or equal to 90 degree. The reason uh, we explained uh, in the previous uh, test. Now uh, the squareness of the table surface to the vertical movement of the spindle head. So some uh, machines uh, will be having this uh, facility elevating the spindle head. So wherein the, the spindle head can be moved uh, up and down on uh, the uh, pillar. So this movement of uh, the spindle head uh, should be perpendicular or should be square with uh, the, the table surface. In order to check this uh, dial gauge, uh, straight edge and uh, square are uh, used. The straight edge is placed on uh, the table surface over which uh, the square is uh, placed as shown uh, here and uh, the magnetic stand of uh, the dial gaze is placed on the spindle and the plunger should touch the surface of uh, vertical surface of the square. Uh, while uh, taking reading table and uh, knee are uh, locked in the mid position and uh, spindle head should be locked while taking the readings. That means spindle is moved to position number 1 and uh, the plunger is adjusted to 0 and then uh, it is unlocked, spindle head is unlocked and it is slowly moved up and then again it is locked and then second reading uh, is uh, taken. So the distance between position 1 and position 2 is normally 300 uh, millimeter. So measurement is again taken in uh, two planes, in the plane of uh, symmetry of the machine and in the plane perpendicular to the symmetry of the uh, machine. The error, error should not exceed 0.1 per 300 millimeter in both the planes and this alpha, angle alpha should be equal to 90 degree or less than 90 degree, the reason we have already explained. Now uh, let us discuss about uh, the camming of uh, the rotating uh, table. Some uh, machines uh, will have this uh, rotating uh, table facility. 
Now, when the, uh, this uh, rotation is required whenever we want to uh, drill holes in a circular uh, pattern. This is uh, the table, rotating table of uh, the drilling uh, machine. Let's say we have kept uh, a workpiece on which we want to drill some holes in a circular uh, pattern like this. So during uh, that time there should not be any camming or uh, wobbling of uh, the table. If there is a camming of the table then uh, geometrical accuracy of the holes and the pattern uh, will be lost. So in order to conduct, in order to check whether there is camming uh, or not, uh, we use uh, dial gauge and uh, straight edge. We have to keep the straight edge on the table as shown uh, here and then the uh, magnetic stand of uh, the dial indicator is kept on the spindle head. The plunger of the dial indicator is uh, uh, touching the straight edge. So it will touch like this and we have to take uh, a reading at point uh, A and then we have to rotate the table uh, so we have to unclamp. Uh, before taking uh, uh, the readings, uh, we should uh, clamp the table. We should clamp the table and we should take the reading here. Then unclamp the table and rotate the table through 180 degrees. Now uh, uh, the plunger will touch uh, the straight edge on point B. Uh, the difference in readings will indicate whether there is uh, camming or not. This procedure is uh, repeated setting the straight edge in uh, another uh, plane perpendicular. Now error uh, should not exceed 0 0.05 millimeter for uh, D is equal to 300 mm where D is table uh, diameter. If there is any camming we have to uh, remachine the hole uh, which guides the table. Now let us discuss about uh, a practical test uh, that can be conducted on a pillar type uh, drilling machine. We can actually measure the deflection of spindle axis uh, from its uh, position square with the table under an axial force applied to the spindle. Uh, for conducting the, this experiment, we use uh, dial gauge and uh, a load uh, gauge. So we have to keep the load gauge on the table of the drilling machine as shown here. Load gauge should be coaxial with uh, the spindle axis. This uh, load gauge is capable of uh, measuring what is the axial force applied and it will also apply the axial uh, force uh, onto the spindle uh, nose. And then a special equipment A which is shown here is uh, mounted directly on uh, the spindle uh, nose. The spindle uh, nose is uh, like this and a special equipment A which looks like this is uh, mounted on the spindle uh, nose. So this is special equipment A. There is a provision for mounting the equipment A on to the spindle uh, nose. And now it is uh, mounted uh, on the spindle nose. And then we use uh, a dial uh, gauges for measurement of uh, deflection. So we have to keep the magnetic stand on the machine uh, table and the plunger should touch uh, the special equipment A. And now we apply the axial force onto the spindle because of the axial force the uh, spindle head will uh, deflect uh, like this. So along with that the special equipment A will also deflect like this. And now what is the reading of uh, this uh, dial gauge and what is the reading of this dial gauge can be noted down. The difference gives the deflection of the spindle.
So this experiment is uh, conducted uh, in two planes in a plane symmetry of uh, the machine as shown here and in another plane which is perpendicular to the plane of symmetry as shown in uh, B and uh, that particular plane will uh, pass through the spindle uh, axis. During uh, uh, measurement uh, we have to uh, arrange the drill head and the table in the middle position and they should be clamped uh, properly. The error, the deflection should not exceed uh, 2 mm per 1000 mm in uh, both the cases. Apart from uh, conducting the alignment test and uh, practical tests on machine tools while uh, purchasing uh, new equipment, new machine tools, we have to uh, do some uh, general inspection of the machine tools that uh, we will uh, discuss now. We should examine for uh, the mechanical defects in the machine tool, whether all uh, uh, parts are in uh, good condition, whether any broken parts are there that we have to check. If uh, there are broken parts, we have to arrange for uh, replacing them. Then uh, whether uh, uh, the gears, all the gears and uh, cone pulleys run quietly at all the specified uh, speeds. We have to arrange all uh, the settings, uh, combinations for gears as well as uh, for uh, core pulleys and we have to uh, run them and we should see whether uh, uh, the running is uh, smooth or uh, not. Uh, is the machine free from uh, vibration when uh, cutting? We have to actually conduct uh, the uh, cutting experiment. We have to mount uh, the workpiece and uh, tool and we have to cut uh, the work pieces. Uh, to check whether any vibration is there or not. If there is uh, any vibration, so we have to uh, check uh, the settings, alignments, so that the vibration level is uh, reduced. Then uh, we should uh, see uh, whether uh, all the uh, listed uh, speeds and feeds available. You can see uh, many uh, the, the spindle speeds like uh, 1170 rpm, 385 rpm and uh, lower speeds uh, such as 165 rpm, 90 rpm they are mentioned in the display. We should actually do uh, the settings of uh, gears and we should run the spindle and uh, we should use an appropriate uh, uh, speed testing device to check whether uh, the spindle is re uh, running at the specified uh, speeds and uh, we should also check whether all the listed uh, speeds are uh, available. Similarly, we should uh, check for uh, the availability of the different uh, feed rates as mentioned in the manual or in the display. Uh, for example, uh, uh, the feed rate of uh, 0.373 millimeter per uh, revolution is mentioned and 0.606 millimeter per revolution is mentioned. So we, we should actually do the uh, required uh, settings and then uh, we should uh, uh, check physically whether uh, the uh, saddle or cutting tool is moving at uh, the uh, specified uh, speed. And similarly, we should uh, do some uh, thread cutting operation to check uh, whether we get uh, the uh, specified uh, pitch uh, values or not. Now, uh, is the machine adequately guarded? Guarding of the machine tool also we should check. We can see different kinds of uh, guardings are used on the machine tool. There is uh, the guard provided for uh, lathe, another type of guard, a transparent uh, guard provided uh, on the lathe. This is uh, the guard provided for pillar type uh, drilling machine and uh, the guards for milling machine. So we should check. Uh, whether machine tools are properly guarded and whether the visibility of the cutting operation is proper or not. Also, we should check for reachability of various switches provided and color coding, whether proper color coding is used in the switches. For example, the reachability of the emergency button, on-off button, such things. We should check whether they are easily reachable by the operator. And we should also check whether proper color coding is uh, used or uh, not. And then we should also check for uh, reachability of various uh, levers and uh, operating uh, wheels. We can see here in this particular uh, lathe, on the saddle, 
uh, many wheels are provided uh, uh, for mo moving the, the saddle and then many levers are provided on uh, the headstock and then uh, the levers are provided on uh, the feed box. Now we should uh, check whether uh, all these levers and uh, operating wheels are easily reachable by the operator and all the levers and operating wheels are easily uh, can be operated uh, smoothly or not that we should uh, check. Uh, easy easiness uh, uh, to operate. So, so for all the levers we should check. Now are the rapid traverses uh, functioning uh, properly and uh, whether auto traverse is working or not. So if such facilities is, are provided on the machine tools we should check for functioning of rapid traverse and uh, auto traverse and whether the lubricating system is working properly or not, what if the pump capacity is uh, used, whether it is adequate uh, to pump uh, the oil and whether any leakage is there in the pipeline, all such things uh, we should uh, check. And uh, are uh, safety devices fitted to prevent uh, serious uh, breakdowns, uh, safety devices such as emergency button, limit switches, uh, we should uh, check whether they are properly working and whether uh, the high holes are uh, properly capped or not, that we have to uh, check. Otherwise, uh, the dust particles may enter into the high hole and uh, the uh, performance uh, will be affected. And do the, do the traverses cover uh, the specified uh, dimensions? Various uh, traverses are provided on the machine tool. And whether all the traverses cover uh, the specified uh, dimensions, we should actually run and uh, check uh, for this uh, specified uh, availability of the traverses. And does all auxiliary equipment fit the machine? Uh, the auxiliary equipment uh, such as indexing mechanism and steady race, whether they are properly fitted, whether they are present or not, such things uh, we should uh, check. And uh, do the operating levers clear each other in all positions? You can see here in this particular machine too, many levers are provided, many wheels are provided whether they are uh, clear each other in all uh, the operating positions or whether there is any, uh, whether uh, levers are in, uh, touching at some positions that uh, we have to check and whether electrical equipment or uh, uh, proper cooling arrangement is made for electrical equipment, whether there is any overheating of the electrical equipment such as motors that we have to check. Now sometimes uh, we can use uh, checklist uh, uh, to check uh, the machine for to conduct the general inspection of the machine tools uh, so one uh, such checklist is provided here for uh, risky parts of the machinery so this will uh, uh, indicate whether uh, the proper guarding is provided or not or uh, all dangerous uh, parts of the machinery guarded or not we, if uh, the guarding is proper we can uh, check here uh, put a tick mark here. If they are not provided, we can uh, put uh, a tick mark here. If uh, a particular question is not applicable, we can put a uh, tick mark here. So like this, we should check for all uh, uh, the items. Are all guards of good construction adequate strength and well uh, maintained? Whether guarding provided is of adequate strength or not, that we have to check. Do guards permit an adequate view of operation where it is necessary whether uh, transparent uh, guards are provided or not uh, for proper visibility. Is it difficult to bypass or disable uh, guards? So sometimes uh, the operators disable the guards and try to run the machine which is very dangerous. So such things uh, we should uh, check. Can the machinery only be started when a specific uh, labeled start device is used and is it uh, impossible to start the machine? just by resetting uh, a safety device and uh, is there a readily accessible stop device which stops the machinery in a safe way uh, accessible stop device such as emergency button button the positioning of the button the color coding of the button such things uh, we should uh, check where appropriate is there a prominent easily accessible emergency stop uh, device provided can controls be operated safely and uh, easily and uh, all controlling levers wheels whether they are uh, easy to operate whether they are safe to operate 
is there any system of work which ensures that nobody is in a dangerous position when the machinery is about to be started so such things we should carefully check uh, by using the uh, check place now with the general inspection of the machine tools we will uh, conclude uh, module 11 lecture 2 in this uh, lecture number 2 we discussed about uh, the following uh, topics practical tests uh, uh, conducted on uh, lathe and various uh, uh, tests normally conducted on the pillar type uh, drilling uh, machine alignment tests we discussed and uh, the practical tests conducted on pillar type drilling machine that also we discussed and apart from that we also discussed about the general inspection of uh, uh, machine tools uh, uh, one should uh, do on uh, machine tools with this we will conclude uh, this uh, lecture thank you